to your love K-pop. We know you guys all do. Welcome to this segment. <laughs> The K-pop stars we love. The reason why K-pop is loved all around the world. During this time, <laughs> I, Sam Carter. And Seo Sam Rae will be closely examining and exploring K-pop through the musician's point of view. Oh, oh my K-pop! K-pop. Yes, listeners, Oh My K-Pop time with Mr. Sars Hamuel with us today. Yeah, 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 yeah. What up, 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 Such a... Oh, that's hilarious. Well, how was your week, bro? Dude, I've had a very good week. Thank you for asking. I mean, we were together this noon for my show, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was really good to see you being reunited with your former group member yeah yeah how was your experience with him it was good i started because yeah. i don't really think about the past a lot i'm one yeah. of those people i'm always thinking about now or the future uh, okay but it was nice kind of um to look, look back yeah. and yeah uh, i mean after you left he was he started talking about all those good memories back when you guys were together yeah. Yeah. and how good of a brother you were to uh. him in the past and he also told us that he felt really sorry for you for oh. not being a very good tongseng to you at that ah, time. Ah, no. Yeah. He always says yeah. that, but you know what? He's he's brilliant. He was, uh, he's, because he's, he's very kind of, he's not like the cute younger brother style. Do you know okay. what I mean? He's more of a chill, laid back yeah, and cool yeah. and chic. Yeah, he's right. very chic, yeah. And but, somewhat sarcastic, I feel. He can be, he yeah. can be, yeah. definitely, definitely. But we have fun. But in that. a really good way, though. He was yeah. a nice dude. It was fun, yeah. man. It was fun. Um, dude, you've come here for yeah. um, Oh My Caper, and we've actually, I think we should probably talk about this first. Yes, let's announce this news right now. <sighs> we rather have some sad news today, guys. It is yeah. my last day as a guest in this segment. Segment. Oh my K-pop! Yeah, I guess it's about time. I mean, we've been doing pretty much the same thing for two years and a half now. Has so it been? I can't believe it's been yeah. that long, though. It's almost been three years, man. Really? Yeah. The first time I was here at your show was back when I was 29, so that was three years ago. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No. That was summer. I still remember that time. I sang one of my songs called "Ordinary Kids." And after the song was over, you started complimenting like you treat the rest of the regular guests here. (laughs) Very soulless. (laughs) Okay, I'm not going to lie. Since it's my last day, I'm going to just talk whatever the heck I want. Do you know what? I have... So that's something I worry about a lot. Oh. Because even though I mean it, mm-hmm. it doesn't sound like I mean it. Oh, you sound very like a DJ, don't you worry? I, yeah. I hear that all the time. <laughs> Every day, people are telling me, yeah. you sound like you don't mean it at all. You're soulless. I, I hear that a lot. <laughs> I know. I need to take... That's the yeah. DJ sound. How do you say chigopeng in English? It's, it's, like, like, oh, it's like your work... Yeah. Disease. <laughs> <laughs> work disease. That is know. so true. Hey, man, do that. Um, but it's really sad, and I just wanted to thank every single one of the teammates of Super K-Pop, yeah. including our PD님 and 감독님, and uh, for the past 작가님's too, 조 작가님, and the next one, 미림 작가님. Miss Joe. And, yeah, and the next one, uh, what was the uh, former one? Former. Who was the former one? I forgot her name. We have, we have, we have had a lot of writers. I can't remember the order. Oh, okay, okay. So I've yeah. experienced four writers in four total. Writers. Yeah, starting from Miss Joe. Actually, I still keep in touch with her, Miss even Joe? up to nowadays. I mean, me and her, we still, we are really good friends yeah. to each other. So yeah, we sometimes. I mean, thank you so much for letting me meet all those great people through this radio. Yeah, and uh, thank you so much for turning me into a DJ material Dude, you're, you're eventually ki- i got my own show yeah, yeah so you're, you're killing the radio scene <laughs> man. yeah 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> doing so well um i mean so many comments here. i mean yeah. say, i think say says comment says it all bra wait, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. It, just, it just says bra is it on v app or youtube uh, youtube okay it just says bra bra that says it all you don't need more than that i think we know exactly what you mean on that one yeah oh dear so. but i'm pretty sure pd Neum has come up with a really good segment for our next season so you guys should yeah. look forward to that can you tease it a little bit uh i don't know no <laughs> okay <laughs> i have no idea i need to talk to them i have no idea listeners uh, anyways it's gonna be amazing guys so don't you guys worry yeah oh uh, by the way the good news is sam carter is staying 
I know. I've, I've been here such a long time, man. Yeah, you're going to be the next Lisa. <laughs> Mate, I'll, yeah. I'll, hopefully I'll, yeah. I'll be an old man here. I'll be an old man. <sighs> oh, dude, you know what, though? And before we talk more about it later, of course, we'll do a proper goodbye. That is right. Obviously, we've got stuff to do. Yes, um, the show must go on. Yes. So, OYK, Paul, tell us about the segment. Here's what is... I'm going to talk extremely slow today, guys, okay. in order to memorize every single word in the script since it's my last day. Mm-hmm. So in this segment, we are going to choose the K-pop star of the hour, look back on their history from their debut till now, and Samuel Ingu Carter <laughs> and I, Samuel Seo, will be analyzing the reason why we think they're loved through our point of view. Yep, and we also need your participation, listeners. <laughs> yes, during the middle of the segment, Sam and I will be, of course, recommending some of the B-side tracks that we like for the artist. Of course. And for today's K-pop star, yeah. send in a song by them you want to hear. Tell us a reason you like this artist too. Yes. Mm-hmm. Lastly, you can always send in your request. No, I don't think so. What do you mean? Yeah, today's the last day, so I don't think you guys can send in any more requests for this segment, particularly. <laughs> but for the new segments coming up for uh, the new season, the for the K-pop star that you guys want us to closely listen to. Yeah. Well, actually, he will actively reflect your opinions I'll in today's it. corner prizes. Mm. Okay, I'm not going to let him do it this time. I'm going to be filming a special video Yay! prize for one of our lucky listeners. Mm. That's cool, man. That's <laughs> that's going to be fantastic. Looking forward to that. Yes. Uh, lots of our listeners is joining us. Stacy Wiley says, hi everybody, I'm new to Sam Carter. Hello oh, Stacy. What up? You came to the right station. Yeah man, yeah, enjoy, yeah, yeah, enjoy. Yeah, 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 it's going to yeah, be a special yeah. show today. Yeah, yeah. Um, right, today's K-pop star of the day. Yeah. Today's K-pop star is Stacy. Stacy! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Sorry, t- I sounded like a fanboy. <laughs> Stacy! Okay, Stacy is a short for star of something like that. Star of a young culture, was it? Oh, similar. S- yeah, star. Ah, I forgot. Star to a young culture. Star to a young culture. Yes, that one. Mm. Anyways, the beautiful teen fresh members have been showing new and fresh music that people haven't experienced before. Mm. Ever since their debut, they caught attention for their live singing skills and the talented members have been showing their confidence through solo cover tracks. They recently made a comeback after five months and have been winning first place. The group showing their power is the leading fourth generation girl group. Today, we will be diving into Stacey's music. Yeah, this is going to be great. I'm a big fan, I've got to say. Um, mm-hmm. but let's talk a little bit about Stacey firstly. Mm-hmm. Uh, six members, Sumin, Shein, uh, we've got Aisa, Seon, Yoon and Jay, all from Korea. Mm-hmm. And uh, when they debuted... Their average age was 18. They were like kids, man. Right. Um, Stacy stands for, you were right, start to a young culture. Mm-hmm. And uh, it holds their ambition of becoming stars who can lead the young culture. Mm-hmm. Um, during their trainee days, though, uh, before they debuted, they really emphasized this key word, which I think is so nice, healthy. Oh. So healthy character and mindset to become the group that people can trust and love. Mm-hmm. Nice. And uh, of course, all the members, they are absolutely uh Stunning, they're beautiful, they're talented, which is why they're known as it's called uh Chonron Center, so all center, all Ooh. main members of the group, basically. Interesting. Yeah, and then last year, uh, they won the Rookie Girl Idol Award, the Brand Customer Loyalty Awards, they won 10 awards in many prominent award ceremonies, Mellow Music Awards, 36 Golden Disc Awards, and have been acknowledged as one of the leading fourth generation idol groups. Cool, 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 cool. And a bit more about them, they released their second mini album called YoungLove.com on February 21st, 2022. There are six songs in total, which are about the diverse stories of love. Mm. Their title songs start off with a synth bass with a shuffle rhythm, an unexpected drop part as well as brass sounds, and the song boasts Stacey's unique vibe, and it is about running to her fearlessly no matter what people say. The chuchum chuchum, which is hesitant in Korean, and the gun loading dances are the point dances from the song. Yeah, man, we're talking Stacey today. Oh, I have to say, yeah. um, out of out of the newer groups, one of my favourite groups for sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, with this, uh, mm-hmm. is it fourth? Yeah, fourth generation now. Yeah. Um, have you have you been aware of Stacey before? Yes, I have been seeing their name quite so, quite a few times actually. Yeah. Ever since they made their debut back yeah. in that was 2021, something like that. 2020, late 2020. Or? Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah, because they've been around only for like two and a half or three years. Yeah, that's about time I started this. 
segment. I know. Wow, oh, what, no. a co- what a coincidence. It goes back to that. Okay, I'm not going to make connections with those two. <laughs> Anyways, the next song we're going to listen to, I mean, I really felt nostalgic about the name of this song, Run To You. Didn't we used to have this kind of song by some other singer? Probably. Who's Run a first generation you. Korean? I forgot. Cho Pidi was it? We're going to try and find it. Yeah. yeah. Well, anyway, shall we listen to it right away? I think that's a good thing to do, man. Yeah, let's have a listen to Run To You by Stacey. This song is really good. By the way, the song that I was mentioning, Run mm. To You, was by DJ DOC, not Joe PD. Sorry for the misinformation. It's right. And the, just to let you guys know, it's the album. Uh, the album is called The Life. Dot, 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 DOC Blues 5% by DJ DOC, released back in 2000. Oh, it's funny. More than two decades. You know? 22 years ago. Incredible. That's why I was feeling nostalgic. <laughs> and yeah. Yeah, we're talking uh, Stacy today, listeners. Just listen to their new title track. Oh, you, every time you listen, to a Stacey song you mm-hmm. just think oh the quality I mean the quality the reason it's so good obviously the production team behind Stacey Black Eyed Pearson we, we've, we've spoken a few times I think right. about them mm-hmm. oh they're just geniuses man they're the producers who work mm-hmm. with Twice mm-hmm. um, all the well, Itchy of course all mm-hmm. those kind of groups uh, Black Eyed Pearson work with and I think it's one of the one of those few cases that a composer establishes a label and make yeah. their group successful I mean I've seen yeah. a lot of production team trying out those kind of stuff but none of them made that happen actually but I think there's, Other than Bang Shiok and Bang Shiok. Yeah, Bang Shiok with BTS and who else do we have? Uh, uh, you, you could mention EXID and EXID, um, yeah, definitely, yeah, and yeah. Brave Entertainment too. Yeah, Brave, Sense, Brave, Brave Girls. Sense. Yeah, there's yeah. not that many. You've done a great job, they are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so we're talking Stacy, please. Yeah, so send in the song by them that you want to hear. And since it's my last day, please tell us about the reason or any random messages are welcome today. That'd be yeah. great, man. Uh, what we're going to yeah. do is, I mean, even though Stacy haven't been around that long, they've still mm. got some big hit songs, man. It's crazy. Oh, wow. Let's go through some of them. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Let's start with the yeah, first yeah, one. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Okay, so the first song we're listening to right now is called So Bad. The title track of their debut single, Star to a Young Culture, which was released on November 20th, uh, 12, 2020. This is K-pop's representative producers Black Eyed Pearsung and Jungkook created this DBS genre song, which is a combination of drum and bass and synth wave. Just like the lyrics in the hook that go, Really, I want you so bad. It is about how one doesn't know love well, but they really want you nonetheless. The confident and bold song shows Stacey's teen fresh charms. Yeah, man. I mean, when this song first came out, I was actually a little bit sort of shocked by... Yeah. Firstly, how great, the, mm-hmm. how good the song is, like quality-wise. Because mm-hmm. uh, me and Samuel, obviously, we mm-hmm. do music. Mm-hmm. You can tell when something has like, it's oozing in quality, right? right. We can kind of tell. Mm-hmm. Um, it's got that about it. Right. And uh, th- th- the I members. Know, yeah, well. I, yeah, I don't know. I mean, we all know that they're a great producer in South Korean music industry. So there's no point discussing about the production-wise. Yeah. But it's always really good to hear the young ones sing about love because they know how to express the purity of love you know yeah. what i mean i mean as you get old like it's different if a pe- person in their 30th sing about love and yeah. then the 20th sing about love and the teens sing about singing about love like all those generations singing about love emotion wise sounds very different but they as a teenager sounds really pure to me so which is really good thing i, I really noticed about this song there's also something yeah. about stacy the members yeah. Yeah. having the talent to uh-huh portray that emotion really well because right. being a good singer mm-hmm. and portraying that sort of making you feel something is very mm-hmm. different and oh, I've got to say they do it really well don't they I mean even before the show I think it's my first time you actually compliment about a group we're going to talk about for oh, the segment you were complimenting them yeah yeah yeah, yeah. they are brilliant because yeah. they, they've come out on the show before as well and yeah. they're perfect live as okay. well I was shocked yeah man let's go, go, listen go. to a bit more yeah 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 so bad Oh, 
Oh, even from the intro, it's so good. Good, good, good. This next song we're listening to is called ASAP or ASAP, the title track of their second single called Statum, which was released in April 8, 2021. The continuous synth bass and woodwind synth are catchy, and the refreshing rhythm instruments create a charming sound. And it is about wanting someone's ideal type to turn up ASAP as soon as possible, and this emotion is expressed in a wedding way. It is indeed. Mm -hmm. Do you know what? This song, like, it's like the perfect K-pop song in many different ways. Okay. They're, they're so good because it's so different to uh, So Bad. Mm -hmm. uh, very different sort of rhythm. Similar in the chorus, I feel, where it's like a... It's got a melody which we're familiar with, right? Mm. A familiar feeling, but the, the, the girls portray the, the verse side of it really well, too. Mm. I, You know they do this thing where they do, like, um, Stacey Girls in the start of the song, right? Mm -hmm. Um, I, didn't, I didn't actually like it when they first did it in So mm. Bad. I thought, mm, I've heard that before. But then from this song, it really grew on me. And I was like, ah, oh, that's their signature. That's their signature thing that they do yeah. uh, all together. I and mean, especially the chorus line. This song was everywhere I go. This song was yeah. that massive. And this song somewhat reminds me of the early K-pop from like 2010. It's got that. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's the genius thing about yeah. it. It sounds yeah. like music from this year, yeah. but also it's got elements from way back. I guess oh. it's because of the generation that yeah. the producer went through, I guess. It's genius, yeah. man. It's genius. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I love this one. Mixing so many different genres and key instruments to create this perfect song, mm -hmm. man. Uh, ASAP. Okay, the last song we're listening to is called Sekan Gyeong in English Stereotype. The title track of their first mini album Stereotype, which was released on September 6, 2021, it is Stacey's signature teen fresh genre and over overflows with their elegant yet teen charms. It has a simple and repetitive vocal sample as well as synth sounds that amplify the fresh energy and there are brass sounds in the hook which give a sophisticated vibe that contrasts to a fresh verse. It holds the message of wanting to escape from the prejudice and stereotypes that people create just from appearances. Yes, Hegan Gyeong Stereotypes, uh, another recent song they put out. Um, again, really diff it's different genre, isn't it, to the other two? Right. But it has a similar feel about it. I don't know why, though. It's yeah, crazy, isn't it? I know it? what you mean. It, it, there's a linking element between mm. all of their songs which is cool mm -hmm. um you can't help but kind of compliment their uh, vocal skills and all their different songs mm -hmm. but um you know and it's, or it could be their vocals characteristic that just connects every songs all that together could, it could yeah. be that as well because their vocals are so yeah. mature for being yeah. such young people and even the way they mix the vocals too somewhat they mix the vocal tone like Steadily? Yeah, or? it's really good. Yeah. I was going to talk about that later, actually. Okay. That's a really good point. Um, so, Sekang Gyeong Stereotype, another hit song from Stacey. Yeah. They progressively start getting more love with each song they put out. This mm -hmm. one received a lot. Let's listen to a bit more. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cool, so three proper hit songs wow. from Stacey that we just heard here. They're the group we're talking about today. Yeah, I really envy them. They've been around for like less than three years and they're already making hits like that. Like huge hits. Cool, cool, cool. Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. Loads of comments actually. Stacey says, uh, the mm -hmm. ladies of Stacey, oh, same name. Like yeah. that. Uh, <laughs> vocals are amazingly beautiful. Uh -huh. Amy says, yeah. My favorite song is ASAM. Love the dance too. Mm -hmm. uh, Stacey says, This song's amazing. Amy Lee to stereotype. Stacey's songs never fail. The songs are really addictive. Mm -hmm. um, what else is I'm sure there were more actually. Um, da, 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 da. I'll say Sage writes in Stacy Girls mm -hmm. is going down. I can't do it the same way as them. They okay. sound much better than me. Mm -hmm. um, oh, we got one in Korean here. Yeah. Nari Liu says, So bad, normal choco. Surogok Jungye, so what iranen, doredo, normal choco. She jungle to hedo, tenayo, kasaga, we do pandan, the kimi. Wow, I think it's my first time seeing you speak in Korean in this show. Uh, possibly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow, how cool. <laughs> Uh, so basically it says yeah. So Bad is so good but there's a, a B-side track called So mm -hmm. What that's really good um, it has um, lyrics which comfort you as mm -hmm. well 
Oh, and I found uh, interesting information about them. You know how a group come up with all those random names before they choose which official name to go oh, with? Yeah. On the list, they first had 동양의 소녀들, oh. Eastern girls. Well, that's interesting. Yeah, and the next one is called 즐겨찾기. Oh, 즐겨찾기 in English? That's a oh, bookmark. <laughs> bookmark, yeah. yeah. Bookmark and 어금니. 어금, oh, oh the, uh, wisdom teeth, yeah. wisdom tooth. Mm-hmm. So, wow. they ch- I think Stacy's good. Yeah, Stacy's good. <laughs> <laughs> I think Stacy's very good. They went with the right name, I mm-hmm. think. Uh, very, because the name, even the name sounds very hip. Sounds mm-hmm. very sort of now young teenage mm-hmm. hip girl, doesn't it? Love it, love it. <laughs> oh, ah, Nari says, by the way, the Korean, the one who writes in Korean, <laughs> Ah, shy ah. listener. Nari says, really tuning in a lot, but being a shy listener. <laughs> thanks for writing in. <laughs> yeah, thank you, thank you, thank yes, you. Yes, yes, yes. Right, me and Samuel, we have chosen some songs. Yes, and today I'm going to go first. This right. is my last day. Thank you so much for letting me go first. Okay. I brought a song from one of their albums called Stereotype which was just mentioned earlier released back in 2021 uh, September 6th and it's track number 2 it's called I'll Be There I'll Be There can you guess what kind of song it would be? I'll be There's there. a specific reason why I brought this song so, over. I don't. I I actually haven't heard. Oh, I probably heard the song, but I can't remember. Okay. Um. Yeah. Is it like a fan song, ballady type? Mm-hmm. I'll be there. Oh, that's a very sad song after a break of. <sighs> Well, no. anyways, going through us, uh, the credit written, of course, by Plegai the Pilsung and Chun Gun, and rearranged, of course, by oh, rearrangement is done by Rado, who is a also a K-pop producer, yeah. and he used to be in the hip hop scene back in the yeah. days. Did you know that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, anyways, going back to this song, this song mainly talks about the emotion, like how you tell the other person that already you broke up with, telling him or her that I'm um, always going to be there, so don't you worry and stuff like that. It's yeah. more like soothing us all. So this is the type of the thing I wanted to tell you guys, actually. Even though it's my last day today, <laughs> I'm going to be here whenever you guys call me in the future. That's so nice. Uh, but what's, in- what's interesting, dude, yeah. how can young kids express that emotion so well that's crazy isn't it oh that's how mature they are internally yeah, yeah. that's amazing so. brilliant well i think the listeners are excited to listen shall we get it on okay let's have a listen to i'll be there by stacy <laughs> That was a really sad song. You now know you now know why I brought this song, right? Mate, it it so suits good. perfectly for a guest, a regular guest's last day. Absolutely. And by the way, Tarangi K on VF said that well better uh breaking up is better than dying. <laughs> I don't know if it's appropriate to say it, but yeah, thank you so much for your opinion. That was cute. Yeah. Good point. Tarangi yeah, K. Very good point. <laughs> very good point. Right. Yeah. Um Amelita says I like Samuel Sir's choice. Uh-huh. Um Mochi says this song sounds so good. Oh, thank you so much. Uh Sesu says even their sad songs are dancey. There's a there's a it's cuz their mm. sense of rhythm is so good. It does kind of it, you do bop uh, along to it even though mm-hmm. you're crying but you're also popping your head along to it as well and That's I just cool. noticed from their vocal works that they reminds me somewhat of the early day 21 when they just first made their <sighs> debut you're right what was the singer uh, Sandarabak was her name right yeah yeah, yeah Sandarabak the way she group. sings really powerful and edgy CL at the same time as well do you know what uh, I like on a technical aspect the way mm. they like when you sing you kind of do these bends in notes uh-huh. and they're really good at doing that sort of bend which uh-huh. makes it more kind of more like 21 or, right. or Blackpink or groups like that who use mm-hmm. that um, technique a lot right. so good man so good oh an interesting point made by Miss Bradica says not so much of a set song as it is hopeful for better things to come yeah. oh thank you so much for the positivity yeah Irina yeah. says that song was really sad but kind of nice to listen to mm-hmm. it was it was stunning great choice man uh-huh. and it was so simple like guitar All right guitar vocal and some simple L- percussion yeah in the back. yeah and did you see the live version of this song? I haven't. They actually filmed the live version for this song with a full band, and it's really, really good to watch. So you guys better check that oh. out on YouTube as well. Yeah, that is a brilliant tip because yeah. watching a live version of a song mm. sometimes it makes you 
more emotional, doesn't it? Right. Because the singer, because they do it a little bit differently to mm-hmm. the the record version. Mm-hmm. Um, oh yeah, I might. I'm gonna go see that actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go see that. Okay. So, what's your visa track? Well, before we do that, mate, okay. we we got messages. Oh, okay. We, sorry. We, we got lots of messages actually. Oh, do we? Are we gonna go through some of these? Uh, can I go first, please? Yeah. Oh, Chokochi Kaka from Korea actually says Chokochi Kaka. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, do you know this one? I don't know. Say, I'll just. I, I like the name. Chokochi Kaka. Chokochiki Chokochiki Kaka from Good Korea name. anyway says hello DJ Sam and Samuel Sierra oh mm. my god what today is Sam's last day damn why though I only tune in just now and just sent message today but you mm. leave us hey stay with stay with us so but anyway good luck with everything you do you're such a fun person and today there's no song I would like to ask from Stacy other than ASAP this song is a bob the hug the dance keep repeating on my mind you both maybe want to try the dance the song while you play the song ha ha I saw some idol dance to Ace at well maybe we should but we played this song already right yeah we played yeah, so. it do you know what That's you just mentioned some idols have danced to it okay. they've proven really popular with other idol groups okay like other idol groups really like them you see lots of people doing their cover videos mm. and doing their dances that's also one thing which is really interesting mm-hmm. as well thanks for the message chokochiki <laughs> kaka love that love that uh, Benedict from the Philippines mm-hmm. says right what song can I think of for Stacey well I haven't heard their songs before so I'll I want to listen to their debut single so bad and a b-side song like this from 2020 mm-hmm. i really am interested in their songs especially the new ones too um i'm gonna be a fan after these songs that you guys are gonna play enjoy a week as always uh sammy sa and thank you as always sammy seen the skp team thanks benedict thank mm. you should i go for another one yes yeah siska from indonesia <laughs> it's my last time reading a message from Cisco. thank you so much for sending it says hello sam see sam so happy tuesday oops i don't really know about stacy and i forgot to ask raul to educate me <laughs> in advance i only know their song ASAP and I like it so bad so what and run to you also pretty good I will be waiting for your b set tracks recommendations guys thank you and have a fun day you two have a blessed day yeah I mean ASAP seems to be a song which was really popular I think it's because right. it's it's really memorable because it goes ASAP and that's not how it sounds but it's similar <laughs> well, so I'm curious how many likes they, uh, they have on the uh, streaming website they got is a- ASAP the one with the most one yeah Okay, uh, by, that's why. By far, uh, like crazy number. Oh, they got more than 100,000 likes. Y- yeah, which wow, is that's a, a lot. huge yeah. number on the Korean streaming site. Yeah. Uh, also, Cece from Chittadan Tobago says, Hi, Sammy and Samuel Sa. Mm-hmm. Stacy, what a group. I remember when they first debuted, they literally had me wigless and unable to speak. Wigless? Wigless? As in no wig? Okay. Weakless. Anyways, I like okay, yeah. Good word though. Uh, one of the <laughs> best debuts I've ever witnessed. All their songs are crazy amazing, so it's hard to choose a favourite. Um, it's safe to say that I love them all. Stacy can never do wrong. Mm-hmm. But I'd like to request their song uh, 24-7, one of my absolute favourite of their B-side tracks. Mm-hmm. And Samuel Saar, it was absolutely lovely the time spent with you. I will forever cherish all the fun you've brought every Tuesday. Thank, Thank you. you so much for saying so. It means Aww. a lot. It I does, mean, man. because I'm pretty sure I'm going to be seeing the views from this recording booth on my deathbed. So. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> was, it, was it too random? <laughs> that was a bit of a, a shock. I need it, bro. I need it. That's how precious the moments that I spent with you guys are. <laughs> uh, that was. See, yeah. I love that with Sam. You just never yeah. know what he's going to say. Like, you, you can never. <laughs> Like, guess in advance. I love that. So good. Uh, but Stacey also says, yeah. thank you for your hard work, sending you a million hugs yeah. as well. That's so nice. Thank you. Good say, say. Right. Um, I need to um, play a song as well for you guys. I've decided to go for, well, it's a B-side track, on this album. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I was huge, uh, a huge fan of all the previous albums they mm-hmm. did, of course. And uh, this album... For me, firstly, it was interesting because the album title is younglove.com. Yeah. <laughs> it's a website. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, for me, that was, like, really cool. So I thought mm. I really wanted to kind of look at the song called Young Love, mm. actually, on this album. So this is track number four. And um, do you know what? This one, of course, of course, Black Eyed Prison took part in mm-hmm. this one. They had some other people taking part in it as well. Uh, but the reason 
I love this song. I think there's something about Stacey. I think one thing I love about this group is they mix having a very Korean uh, idol girl group feel okay. along with a very sort of American pop style mm. at the same time. Mm. And that that's like the perfect mix. Mm. You see so many musicians trying to find the perfect mix. Like mm. Twice, like what Black Eyed Prison did with Twice mm. is find a good balance, right? I think Stacey have that because vocally they sound so stylish the way they sing certain lines. Mm -hmm. uh, but also it does have that really familiar uh, Korean idol style melody and, and things about that too. This one's really cool because it's got like really amazing electric guitar. They sound so... Uh, fierce but also delicate at the same mm. time the members like this this level of uh, singing and portraying emotion I'm just so shocked by it because yeah. they're so young I yeah, could, yeah. what I really like about this album actually is the younglove.com album has a, such a cool cover art because so most cool. girl groups they just shoot photo shoot yeah. and just use their picture as the album cover but this one they came up with this whole new graphic yeah. like somewhat reminds me of the early days vaporwave kind of style love or, it yeah, so. it, but it's like a heart yeah. made out of pink mm -hmm. smoke. Mm -hmm. So cool. Um, so I thought you'd enjoy it, guys. So this is my B-side track selection. It's on this album, theyounglove.com, and it's called Young Love. I get exactly what you mean by sounding like Korean typical girl group, but at the same time, they yeah. feel somewhat different. It's, yeah. Kind of grungy as well with the electric mm -hmm. guitars. Uh, looks like lots of you enjoyed this one. Say Say says, this guitar, I'm a sucker for guitars. This song is giving me goosebumps. That is right. It's good, it's good. Um, and I believe we have a few more messages coming in. Mm, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. There's loads more coming, actually. Mochia says their vocals undeniably so great. Even if Stacey makes a unit group or something, yeah. they must be so so good. Stacey uh, says, Young Love, powerful song. Yeah, it's good. And yeah. do you know what? For the last part, yeah. dude, we've got so many comments for you, actually. Okay, thank you. So, um, any more messages you want to read yeah, out? Yeah, actually, I got a new one from Peter Niem from Joyful Ro Joyful Arena from Romania. Yeah. says, Hi, Sam C and Sam So, how are you? I'm glad Sam C is staying as our DJ, but it's sad because Sam So has to leave. Thank you for your hard work and the fun moments on this segment. I love to see you DJs on a new show. That seemed like a great idea. I wish you good luck with your future goals and I'm giving my support and appreciation. About today's topic, Stacey are really unique. They're like pulling off their concepts so well and mm -hmm. I like how cool they are in the music videos and their songs are so addictive. My favorites are Run To You, Stereotype, ASAP, So Bad, Slow Down. Oh man, I can't believe this segment is coming to an end. So my one last request is ASAP, thank you so much for your hard work. Have a great day. You too. ASAP. Such a good song. Right, uh, Paulina says, I'm going to miss you, Samuel, sir. Good luck and everything. Look uh, thank you with all that crying <laughs> emojis <laughs> with... Uh, is it chocolate heart or heart that's glowing? I don't know. I guess it's just heart glowing. Thank Cut you so off. much for the heartwarming messages, guys. Yeah, Marcy says, hello, guys. Yeah. I just want to wish Samuel... Good luck in his future projects. And Sam, see many great shows ahead. Love to everyone, especially to the women for this special day. It's International Women's Day today. Oh, thank you. That's why. And yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Pinariana says, I wanted to say thank you to Samuel Sar for all his great jobs, being a guest every Tuesday on SKP for the past few years. Thank you for always bringing us joy, information about music and all the artists. Hang sang, I'm thank always supporting you. Thank so you so much for having me for the last two and a half years, guys. Man, I mean, there's so many yeah. more. Uh, Diana says been fun to have Samuel Sir on the show hopefully mm -hmm. we get to see you visiting again soon always anticipating new music from you all the mm -hmm. best Samuel Sir as well thank you so much by the way the fun thing about me and Sam is that it's like we kind of made an exchange with the <laughs> stations that we belong to each other so me I've been coming to this station for two and a half years right he's now yeah. a guest Samuel C I mean he, but he's in my show now so if you guys want to see both of us together in one show don't forget to tune in to am I allowed to say the name of my show here no right i don't know k thing thing and t thing thing station they'll know they'll yeah. know they'll know <laughs> 12 to 2 p.m every tuesday sam's gonna be there yeah yeah i will be there uh dude it's been an absolute pleasure to spend this time with you i mean obviously people looking forward to uh, more music from you when, when's your next album coming out i don't know i mean i started making my music solely on my reel to reel recorder i right. stopped using computer nowadays so okay. it takes a lot more than i used to yeah and uh yeah i think it's gonna take 
quite some more time to come up with a new album yeah okay Mel when it comes out we, we, yeah. got, we got to see you I mean I'll see you every week anyway so. can I be here yeah just come come, come see us when you thank want thank you come see us when you want and when I get back can mm. we talk about some other artists not me yeah we can do that oh yeah let's we'll, do that yeah. we'll do what we want just man. like the old days yeah absolutely <laughs> um, thank you so much to Samuel Sir for the past couple of years I mean for me mm -hmm. because I, I, I know I'll see him again yeah. I feel okay about it yeah. but you know it's obviously a big shame All thank right. you so much to the listeners and uh, we'll say goodbye for now listeners bye bye thank you so much guys I love y'all I hope you enjoyed today's podcast. If you're interested in more information about the show Super K-Pop, make sure you go to the official homepage, that is www.adidangradio.com and check out the Super K-Pop page.